In this video, you will learn about creating and using MP3 playlists in New Voice on your Accent speech generating device. You will learn how to load MP3 music files from a USB flash drive, how to create a music playlist, and how to access the playlist from your Accent device. We're going to go over in this video how to set up some playlists to play through an MP3 player uh, built into the New Voice software. So right now I'm in the Unity 28 one-hit vocabulary in New Voice. Note that and the um, songs, the MP3 pages, are located under the Pages section. In any Unity vocabulary, you're going to find it in the same spot underneath the Pages section here. So we'll go in there, and then I'm going to go down to the Songs down here, and then I'm going to toggle over to MP3 Player. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is get a some playlists created or a playlist created with the music that we want. So I've already taken a USB memory stick and loaded some different uh, music MP3 files onto that USB drive. And I've inserted that, plugged that into one of the USB drives on my Accent. Now I'm going to go into this MP3 player menu. And then from there, I'm going to go to the playlist button. And I am going to add an MP3 to my playlist. When I go there, it jumps me into searching. Um, so I look on the top of the screen here, it will show me where it's looking for files. Uh, I don't have anything under this music section right now. I'm going to go um, hit the up folder button and up folder again, keep going. So I clicked it a couple of times now until I'm looking at these removable media drives. And so this is my USB drive. So if your device, if you have an Accent device that is not integrated or unlo unlocked, meaning you don't have access to the desktop, you're going to actually have to keep your USB drive with your music files plugged into the device um, anytime that you're wanting to be able to play this playlist. So we'll go over that process first. So I'm going to go to my removable media drive. Taking a moment. Um, I've been finding anytime I have, um, whoop, once I'm in there, when I have, when I'm opening up a folder through New Voice that has these big music files, it tends to take a second to load just as an FYI. So it might take a moment until it comes up. So now where I'm looking, I can see here that I'm looking at my eDrive and it's showing me all these checkboxes or files with checkboxes or different songs that I have. So I'm going to just make my first playlist here from my USB. I'm going to check off just these top four songs. So that's what I want to add onto my playlist, and I'll go ahead and say OK. OK, and I see that it's populated them into my list there. And so now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to save my playlist, and it gives tells me where I can save it to. I find regardless um, whether your device is integrated or not, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just say OK to save it into my documents. Um, and then I ask you to give it a name, so I'm going to just call this uh, playlist one. Okay. And then I hit okay. And okay again. And okay again. I, I, I'm going to okay out of this menu because I don't want to have to have my user to have to go into this menu to hit play on this. I want them to be able to use the nice page that's already designed for you in, um, in Unity to be used. So what I want to have happen is when they click on this playlist one button, either with their finger or with their switch or with their eyes, whatever their access method is, that it's going to load up my playlist. So by default right now, this button is sort of just a placeholder. It doesn't have anything programmed under it that's going to, um, to play that button. So we need to now, now that I have my playlist one created, I need to edit my playlist. So I'm going to get the setup key, select my button, and then I'm going to go into the spell message or define key function section. Now, if your user is not um, a auditory prompt switch scanner, um, then you can clear this out. I'm just going to clear this out for this example. You don't need that prompt marker in there. So I'll hit clear. And then uh, now we're going to add some, add a tool in there so that it knows to play our playlist one. So I'm going to go to insert tool and then go to this MP3 um, section for different tools related to the MP3 player. 
and then I'll select MP3 Play Playlist, that tool, and then it will jump me into just, just picking from whichever playlist I have already created. So um, I, I've only created one playlist so far, so I'm in, it went right to the My Documents where I saved it. I'll select Playlist 1 and then um, say OK. And I can see now in this spell message to find key function area, it has some kind of code here essentially of the tool that's telling it to play this playlist that we just selected. So we're good to go. I'm going to say OK. And then now when I select my playlist, it should start playing it. And I can use these next arrows to switch to the next song. Okay. I'm going to go back to the previous song. Okay, I can pause it, play it again, skip or stop. Okay, so we're good. So this is playing our playlist once. So now we're going to do kind of the same thing, but if your device is integrated or unlocked, meaning you have access to the desktop of the device, it's kind of nice to not have to leave that USB memory stick um, stuck into the back of your device. So it's really going to be the same process, but we're going to do, um, do one other step beforehand, and then we'll create another playlist. So I'm going to hit on the little blue tools button here and go out to the desktop of my device. And then from there, I'm going to open up a um, file explorer or documents area. And what I will do is I'm going to, I see right here my USB drive. I'm going to go on there and I can use my, I have a mouse plugged into a just general regular USB mouse right now plugged into my device, which helps me um, to do things like this. So I'm just going to, I'm clicking and I'm highlighting all of the um, files that I want. These are all my MP3 files. And then I'm going to just right click on that and click copy. And then I'm going to go into my documents here. And then I'm going to right click and paste. Perfect. So now all of my music, my MP3 files are now in the my documents folder on my actual accent device. Um, so that I'll be able to create a playlist to play right from right from my device and won't have to keep my USB stick um, stuck in the device at all times. So I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to go back into New Voice, which I can get right on top here. Okay. And now let's create another playlist. So I'm going to go back to my MP3 player menu, and I am going to um, go to the playlist button. And I'm going to say, click on Create New Playlist. So that gives me a whole blank section here. And now we're going to add some MP3s. And for this playlist, let's just um, actually, sorry, before I do start checking things off, right now it's still defaulting actually to pull from that E drive that we had just set it, which is the removable media, that USB. So I want to do my documents instead so that I won't have to keep that um, plugged in there. So I'm going to hit Up Folder and up folder again, and then I see my documents. Might take a second for that folder to open since it has those big music files in it. There we go. And now let's check off, I'm gonna just check off all of them. I want all my songs on this playlist. Okay, so I've checked them all off, and now I'm gonna hit okay. Um, sometimes it gives you this message that um, would you like it to be fixed. I've found every time I just click yes and it seems to work fine. So just agree to let them let new voice fix it however it needs to fix it. Uh, okay, so I see all of my um, songs now in my playlist that's going to play straight from the my documents on the accent. So now we're going to save that playlist. Keep I'll save it again to my documents. Say okay and now let's just just for simplicity. I'm going to call this um, playlist 2 and say OK. So now I see it has a name there, playlist 2. OK again. OK out of here. So now I'm going to make this button. We'll go through the steps again to have this button be able to play that playlist from um, 
from straight from the my documents instead of the USB. So I'm going to go into spell message or define key function. Um, maybe in this case, I want to keep the prompt marker there just for an example. So to get, I want to move my cursor all the way to the beginning of this line though before I insert my tool. So I can hit the up arrow and that will automatically jump it to the beginning. Now I'm going to insert a tool, go to MP3, and then MP3 play playlist. And this time I'm going to say playlist two and say OK. And I see it there, my command that's in there. Say OK again. So now when I click on, um, I'm going to pull my USB out of my device. You should hear a little ding maybe that let you know I pulled it out. And so now I can hit playlist two and it'll play just directly from the accent. I can skip through all my different songs here. Right. Okay. So it's playing all the songs in my list. So that should hopefully do it. And um that's how we're going to play uh, MP3s.